Welcome to my 2022 setup tour video. In this video, I'll show you around what's in my room, my gaming setup, keyboard collections, and my bed where I sleep. Also, make sure to comment your thoughts on what I should change and improve in my setup. If your comment gets the most liked, I'll change my setup as you suggested. Let's start with the desk since many people have been asking me what desk I'm currently using. This is a really old table that's already been here since I moved in. It's definitely not the best looking, but so far it gets the job done without any problem. But of course, this is one of the items I'm planning to upgrade in the future. For my PC specs, I'm using Ryzen 9 5900X along with RTX 3080. I have Aorus X570 Master for the motherboard for 8GB RAM and a 1000W power supply from Seasoning. This cool looking CPU cooler right here is the NZXT Z73. The unique feature of it is that you can put any custom gift for the display. As you probably guess, I am a Naruto fan, so I'm rocking the Sharingan gift right here. The RGB cables I'm using are the Lian Lee Streamer Plus V2. They are really bright, and if you like RGB, you might also want to get them. The other RGB fans I'm using are just cheap RGB fans I got from Amazon for like $20. So nothing fancy with the fans. The PC case I'm using is Cooler Master NR600. I'm currently using two monitors right now. My main monitor is the Acer with the 390Hz refresh rate. I've been using this monitor for almost a year and so far I really enjoy using it. It is a very smooth experience with this monitor. Besides, when this monitor came out, it was much cheaper than most 360Hz monitors, so I decided to get this one instead. My second monitor is the ASUS XG27AQM. It's a 2K resolution monitor with a 270Hz refresh rate. I know it's definitely overkill for a second monitor. I was trying to main this monitor for a while. This 2K monitor gives a great experience. Everything just looks sharper and more precise. I guess I started to understand what many people said about experiencing a 2K monitor. It's kinda hard to go back to 1080p again. But I ended up choosing the 390Hz monitor cause I prefer the higher refresh rate to try hard in games. I also mount both of my monitors with monitor arms for cleaner looks. They cost around $50 from Amazon. If you're wondering what's up of my monitors, there are monitor lights. The one on my second monitor is the monitor light bar from Xiaomi. It's pretty affordable and provides decent lighting when I shoot my handcam videos. The one on my main monitor is the BenQ screen bar halo. It's more advanced than the previous one but also comes with a price. It provides great lighting and the backlight feature has been pretty helpful in helping my eyes not hurt since I stare at the monitor for hours every day. Now here are my gaming peripherals. My main mouse is the Final Mouse Starlight. It's a small version, really light, only 42 grams. It also took me some time to get used to it the first time I got it. In my opinion, it's one of the best mice I've ever used, but I would say it's only worth it if you got it for retail as I did since the resale price of this mouse can go up to $300. That is just too much for a mouse. And recently, I've been trying another mouse, which is the Razer Death Adder V3 Pro. It's a wireless ergo mouse and pretty light for 64 grams. I decided to try this because after using the Starlight for a while, my hand got a bit tense and tired after some hours of using it. So I decided to go with ergo shape but also lightweight. And so far, I find it so comfortable. Maybe some of you are wondering why the hell do I have a mouse bungee here? Well, since the battery life of my mice is great, it makes me lazy to charge them regularly. So it happened quite often that my mouse just died in the middle of the game. And playing with cable sucks, so I got a mouse bungee just for that situation. For my keyboard, well, I don't have a main keyboard actually. Since I got some keyboards in my collection, I like to switch it up every time depending on my mood. I know that doesn't sound normal, but that's the way it is. On my desk right now is one of my custom keyboards. It's the KBD67 MK2 Laser Edition. In my opinion, one of the best looking keyboards in my collection. But no worries, I will also show you my whole keyboard collection later in the video. I have a big mouse pad and a small one. The extended mouse pad is the ROG Scabbard 2. The reason I have the big one under my keyboard is to absorb the echo from the table which makes the keyboard sounds better for my gameplay videos. And for my main mouse pad, I use the Artisan Zero, the soft version. By far one of the best mouse pads I've ever used and I really like and highly recommend it if you have the budget. 
The only downside is it's pretty expensive. $60 just for a mouse pad and the shipping is quite high if it's not available in your country. Before we go further, I want to mention some great and really useful devices from today's sponsor Ugreen. Honestly, I've been using these devices until now after testing them for a video. The first one is the Nexo 65 watts USB-C charger. It's a high-speed 65 watts charger that can fast charge phones, tablets, and laptops at the same time, just from a single charger. Thanks to the GAN chip technology, it makes the size more compact for better portability and better for your travel experience. The following device is a 7-in-1 USB-C adapter. This device has all the features you ever need from a USB hub. It has a USB-C port, two card readers for SD card and micro SD card, two USB 3.0, and an Ethernet port connection up to one gigabit per second. That's crazy fast. It can also give you a 4K 60Hz HDMI connection. The other crazy thing is you can use this USB hub as a charging station, which means you can charge any device connected up to 100 watts. It's honestly crazy how many things this USB hub can do. The last item is a cell phone stand from Ugreen. It's a simple phone stand with a compact design and great build quality. You can adjust the viewing angles easily and don't worry about your phone slipping because it also has anti-slip paddings installed. Ugreen will be offering huge Black Friday discount starting from November 24th to November 28th. Don't miss the date and enjoy crazy deals during that time. If you're interested in any of the product mentioned before, I will put all the link in the description. For my headphone, I've been using the DT9090 Pro from Bayer Dynamic. It's definitely overkill just for gaming, but since I spend a lot of time in front of my computer, besides gaming, like listening to music, entertainment, and editing, I decided to treat myself a bit with this studio headphone. To power up my headphone, I'm using the Sound Blaster X G6. It was great in the beginning, but lately there have been so many audio bugs caused by this. I don't know if it's just my device or the firmware, but I also heard the same issue from a friend. I'm planning to switch to another device, but I still have no idea what to get. If you're an audiophile, feel free to recommend me what amp deck I should get. The microphone I'm using right now is the Elgato Wave 1. I've had this microphone for 2 years already and I really like this microphone. Especially with the Wavelink software that comes with it, it's perfect. I would say this microphone is definitely worth the price. The boom arm for my microphone costs around $20. I got it from Amazon, of course it's not the best, but I haven't had any plan to upgrade it yet, since it gets the job done without any problems so far. Now, this might be the worst item in my setup. I got this gaming chair from Amazon for about $120. It is horrible. I even get some back pain if I sit here for long hours. It's just not a pleasant experience overall with this chair. I will definitely upgrade to a better one in the future. To make my sitting experience at least a bit better, I got myself a full dress. For my camera equipment, I have a Logitech C922 that used to be my main webcam. But since I've got a real camera, I barely use it anymore. The camera that I use to shoot this footage is the Sony A6000. Even though it's an entry level camera, it's more than I need since the footage is much much better than my webcam. I also got two additional lenses so that I'm able to take better shots. These two lenses are Sigma 16mm and 56mm. And to connect my camera to the PC, I use this Elgato Cam Link. Other camera equipments I use are this tripod, lighting, and another mounting arm for the overhead view. Moving on to the decoration of my setup, first off is the Gofi wall lights. I decided to get them because I feel that my setup looks pretty plain. So yeah, I guess it's a good buy since it makes my setup look much better, at least in my opinion. The other two lights that I have are floodlights. They don't cost that much, I think I got them for $50, which is pretty affordable. Here's the controller, and I can change the lights however I want. I also have some foam panels installed, but I got them from Amazon for like $25 just for decoration. I recently got this metal poster from Displate, it's the limited edition version and I decided to get my first one here. I personally like the art here, it looks cool and adds a bit more aesthetic to my setup. The last decoration I have is this LEGO typewriter. Since I have many keyboards, I think it would be cool to have this LEGO in my collection. 
Now moving on to my keyboard collection. Overall, I have around 70 keyboards. I'm not addicted to buying keyboards by any means, but it was kind of my job to buy keyboards and make gameplay with them. So I ended up having 70 right now and probably will be more in the future. Out of 70 keyboards, 50 are pre-built and 20 are custom built. The crazy thing is that the total cost of these 20 custom keyboards is worth more than anything in my setup. At this point, I think it's just too much and maybe I'm planning to sell some of my keyboards in the future. If I had to pick my favorite one, I would choose the Vega or Polaris. Here is how they sound. I'm honestly running out of space to store my keyboard, so I just cram all of my pre-built keyboards here. Of course, it will take too long to showcase all my keyboards one by one, so if you're interested in seeing all my keyboard collections, I did a video here showing every single one of my keyboards. I also have some mouse collections, but they are not as big as my keyboard collection, so I'll just show them quickly here. And by the way, if you're looking for a mouse under $50, just take the Viper Mini. I've used it in the past and I can guarantee that it's great. Moving on from gaming stuff, I have some pairs of shoes here. One pair of running shoes and three pairs of basketball shoes, as I also play basketball in my free time. And here it is where I sleep. Well, not on the couch, but inside the couch. This is a sofa bed. Filming it right now just makes me realize I don't even have an actual bed. But hey, it works perfectly fine when I sleep on it, so no complaints. So that's all for today's video. I'll put all the links in the description if you want to get any item in this video. See you!